Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. It's time to answer some questions about wetsuits. So I typed scuba wetsuit into Google and I'm answering some of the questions that popped up, starting with, what kind of wetsuit do I need for scuba diving? The thickness of your wetsuit really depends on how cold the water is, how long the dive is planned to be, how much you personally feel the cold, and most of all, the quality of the wetsuit itself. Scuba diving wetsuits are slightly different than other wetsuits because the neoprene is made to be a bit more resistant to compression at depth, and they tend to have more comprehensive seals to slow water movement inside the suit. For diving in warmer waters, say in the tropics, many divers opt for just a two and a half mil shorty. Um, they're very quick and easy to put on. They cover your core to keep you warm and you can move around quite freely inside of a shorty. For longer dives though, a three mil full suit is usually best because they cover the extremities and they're a little bit thicker to add a bit more insulation, but not too much buoyancy. Five mil suits are a great all rounder for colder waters or just longer dives in warmer waters. Most divers end up getting a five mil and having that in their dive locker. Seven mil suits that do exist and they're made for cold waters. They're typically semi-dries at this thickness and a lot of divers just tend to skip over this thickness as well and just go straight to a dry suit, but they definitely work if you don't want to go for a dry suit. There are a few different types of neoprene as well today. The most basic is petroleum based. It's pretty cheap, it does the job and it's more basic, um, which isn't particularly flexible as well. They, they do feel quite stiff when you compare it to some of the nicer ones nowadays. More expensive blends will allow you to bend and flex, uh, so they're definitely worth investing a little bit more, especially when you're planning to wear the suit for any length of time. Nowadays, we have limestone-based neoprene, something like in the Apex Thermic suits, which is better for the environment, but it is just as good, if not better, than petroleum-based neoprene. And the most recent style of neoprene is actually plant-based neoprene, like in the Fourth Element Surface or the Aqualung Escape wetsuits, which is a grown material, so it's even better for the environment. What does a scuba wetsuit do? A scuba wetsuit is made to insulate you and keep you warm in the water. Even in warm waters, over time, you will eventually get cold, even like the tropics. And while staying warm is nice for your comfort, it's also important for your decompression. A wetsuit is quite simply just a skin tight foam material. And all of those tiny bubbles in that foam act much like double glazing in your windows to slow heat from radiating away from your body. While wetsuits are skin tight, they're not water tight, hence wet suit. They allow a small film of water into the suit and then the suit just warms that up with your body heat. With good seals to slow that water down and good internal material to hold it in place, only a small amount of water will actually find its way into a good fitting wetsuit and help to keep you warm. A poorly fitting wetsuit, on the other hand, will allow water just to flow in and out of the suit, which will just run cold water into the suit over and over again and basically take the heat of your body away with it making it just as useless as just not wearing a wetsuit at all. So for whatever choice, make sure that it fits you properly. How long does a scuba wetsuit last? As long as you look after it, really. Wetsuits, like most dive equipments, they can deteriorate very quickly if you don't look after it or if you abuse it. If you leave a wetsuit to dry in the baking sun or crumpled up in a wet pile on the floor, then they're gonna go bad just in different ways. The sun can bleach suits and actually make the materials weaken so they go nasty quicker. Left wet on the floor and just microbes are gonna start to fester and your suit is just gonna smell. Folding wetsuits, hanging them on thin wire hangers, they can crease them and actually pinch the foam so those little insulating bubbles, they've been pinched and they don't really exist anymore so it doesn't insulate you in that particular area. But 
If you look after your suit, you wash it properly and let it dry properly as well, give it a good shampoo treatment from time to time, and you'll get a good 10 years out of your wetsuit easy, maybe even more. The problem comes that diving itself can damage your suit gradually over time. Not from, or not just from bumps and scrapes or anything, but actual compression. Diving deep and the pressure actually compresses the wetsuit and after repetitive compression, it's just gonna thin. So your five mil is actually as warm as a three mil after hundreds of dives, but you'll still get a good five years out of a decent wetsuit very easily. But just remember, the longer it goes, the thinner it often gets. What is the warmest wetsuit for scuba diving? An 8mm semi-dry is probably going to be the warmest wetsuit you're going to find. Something like an Apex Thermic that I mentioned earlier. Uh, all full-length suits should have an exposure rating printed somewhere on it, usually on the label on the inside, and they're graded on like an ABC scale for how well they should keep you warm. So find a suit with an A rating and it should be pretty good. Suits like the Thermic are great for keeping you warm because they have a built-in hood and a neck dam underneath it as well. The hood reduces water ingress points and the neck dam is an internal section of neoprene to slow water further. On good wetsuits, you'll find decent seals around the wrists, around the ankles, with a shiny section of neoprene that seals against your skin. A good combination with all of these features and a nice warm internal lining and you got yourself a pretty warm wetsuit that or take the plunge and invest in a dry suit but something like a, a 7 mil 8 mil semi dry is probably going to be the warmest wetsuit you can find do you need to wear anything under a wetsuit you often don't need to, but a rash vest or something can make them more comfortable and reduce rubbing, and what they're made for. Underwear or swimwear should be a given, you wear that underneath your wetsuit, but you can wear a wetsuit against your bare skin, you just need to think about the stitching. On warm water suits, you'll often find flat lock stitching, that doesn't tend to rub very much because it's quite flat, uh, but feel the inside of any stitching to see if it's going to rub in any area. If it feels like it might, then a rash vest will definitely help. Think of a rash vest a bit like a pair of socks underneath your shoes, something just to, I don't know, lubricate uh, your suit. You can get some thermals for wetsuits to wear underneath it, something like Fourth Element Thermocline that you can wear underneath your wetsuit over your core to help sort of boost the thickness so it stays warmer. They help to trap body heat and they also help to reduce rubbing as well. But of course, you need the space underneath. If your wetsuit is fairly tight as it is, then a rash vest won't be a problem because they're pretty thin, but a thicker undersuit like Thermocline might start to get it a little bit too tight, especially around the chest. Another option is to wear a shorty over the top of your suit. You can sometimes find like 5 mil shorties that are specifically made to be worn over your wetsuit. They're usually called systems, something that you wear over the top. But yeah, you, you can wear a rash vest. That's usually what most divers end up with, just a, a long sleeve rash vest to help them get in and out of the suit and to stop it from rubbing anywhere. Wetsuits are great, but with so many things in life, you get what you pay for. And if you hold a cheap suit up against a really fancy suit, you're gonna notice the difference. It's, it's rare that you're just paying for the name. You're actually paying for better materials and seals, which is important in something that's keeping you warm. And when you do invest in your own wetsuit, look after it. Use a proper detergent and of course, let it dry properly uh, out of the sun if you can. If you need a new wetsuit, then check the ones out on our website, simplyscuba.com. Uh, I'll pop a link down in the description below so you can check them out. Thank you for watching, everybody, and of course, safe diving. <laughs>